Ladies and gentlemen, this is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Cambridge House Resource Conference 2012 here in lovely Palm Springs. Standing next to me is Jeff Berwick, the vigilante. Let me, ladies and gentlemen, let's find out what's up secretly with the vigilante. What's going on, Jeff? Well, I got arrested last night. Uh, I, I was in handcuffs uh, just for walking down the street. It's uh, turned into quite the police state here. Uh, it's rare when I can come to the U.S. and not be in handcuffs. Um, they said I was uh, running across the highway or something, which I didn't do. Um, so yeah, it's always interesting to come visit the police state in person and uh, and meet all the nice local police officers. And uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's been interesting. Well, it could have been worse. It could have been drunk and disorderly. Yeah, it could have been. Uh, definitely there was some uh, drunkenness happening last night. Uh, I, I admit to that. So what is it? What is it with you? The fact of the matter is you are so upset with the things, the way they're running in this country, that you just can't take it anymore, like that guy from the movie Network, right? No, I'm not that upset. I, you know, it's a little bit of an entertainment at the same time. You know, you can't be too serious about life because a lot of these things that are going on are pretty crazy, actually. A lot of these things are, are pretty wild. It's I think if you looked at the U.S. 10 years ago, you wouldn't have imagined the stuff that's been going on in this country for the last 10 years. Uh, so if you take it a little too seriously, you will go crazy. So I like to have a little bit of fun with it as well because uh, life's short, and even though we're uh, being massively oppressed right now, we could still try to live freely. If you had to send one message to the viewers today, what would that message be? Uh, really the thing I talk about the most is uh Everything you've done for the last 40 years, uh, stop doing that. <laughs> it w it's not going to work anymore. We've been living in a complete fiat uh, debt-fueled bubble for the last 40 years, and it's all on the verge of collapse. Uh, really, this is the time to be more safe. Uh, I'm not personally trying to make a lot of money right now. I'm just trying to keep the money that I have, keep the assets I have. I think over the next few years, the person who loses the least will probably win in general. Uh, that's uh, usually the way it goes in a depression and in yeah, but what about what a loaf of bread is a thousand dollars. How are you going to pay for it? Well, that's the thing. You got to have hard assets because uh, Ben Bernanke has it as his number one objective to basically destroy the U.S. dollar, and so does Barack Obama. Uh, the uh, there was a, a a person who had talked to the Obama administration recently, and I put this on my blog, and uh, they told him in person. They said their plan is to kill the dollar. So everything they're doing actually points to that. They're actually trying to destroy the currency, and there's really no actually other option at this point with the amount of U.S. government debt. Uh, it's it's about $250,000 per person at this point, so a family of $4 million is completely unpayable, and uh, really there is no option. Uh, back in the 1980s, they came close to having the system collapse, but back then there wasn't a lot of government debt, so they could raise the interest rates up to about 18%. That still didn't take up, it was only about 35% of GDP was taken up by interest payments at that point. Uh, all it would take today is 11%, and every single dollar of tax revenue for the U.S. government would actually go towards interest payments at that point. So they have no option now, except for to inflate and it'll turn into hyperinflation. Want more information? Website. DollarVigilante.com Ladies and gentlemen, the Dollar Vigilante. Jeff Berwick. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you got to get him before he gets back into jail. He's fresh out of jail. He looks good for a guy that just got released, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, pretty soon I'll be in Guantanamo Bay <laughs> at some point. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, take advantage of the information now while I'm still around. He's on his way running to the airport. Let me say goodbye to you. All thank right. you, Dollar Vigilante. Thank you, Shelley. You're welcome.